Welcome back, guys. Now, <laughs> I was talking at the end of the last episode about doing a time lapse of just letting this stuff grow. And then um, when I came back to it today to kind of like play with it, um, I thought, OK, well, right, right, I'll just I'll just kick it off and let it run. Uh, hang on a second. I saw this. Uh, here we go. I saw these buildings over here that don't have any water. And I thought, oh, man, I'll need to put in some um, some water for these guys. Because there's like big areas that don't have any any water assigned to them. And then it occurred to me, I don't have any cash. <laughs> so I can't put in any water pipes. But I just noticed something. Uh, let's close this down for a second. I just noticed something. Because I've been trying to figure out like... Like, even just before this, I was like, I should be making more money than this. I've missed something. And guess what? This bloomin' theatre that I put in to represent Bentles, um, that's switched on. Let's turn that off. That's like two grand a week. All right? So, now let's turn this on and crank this up. And we should suddenly find that we're making, like, two grand a week. Or at least like well over a grand a week. And now we've actually started to get some cash. And as the buildings grow, our cash is going to grow and grow and grow with a bit of luck. Well, we're certainly making two grand a week. So what we're going to have to do is kind of be a bit more interactive with this. And, uh, and, and like place pipes like when we get the chance. So like this this little area up here we'll, we'll pop in a little road across there so we, we're gonna kind of have to like look and see where stuff is going on and uh, and then throw in, throw in some water pipes to kind of kind of deal with it um, but you know how am I gonna do this and, um, let's throw one in like there and then we can throw another one, uh, like, kind of, there. I'm just trying to get coverage. I'm not, I'm, seriously, I'm not trying to do anything, like, clever. Get some coverage along here. How are we doing for cash? Oh, we're up to three and a half grand a week now. Oh, things are, things are getting better, guys. Things are getting better. Right, now a lot of them are starting to complain about electricity. Uh, let's check out what our electricity situation is. See, the thing is that because the whole city is not hooked together, just because this is saying we've got an, enough electricity doesn't necessarily we mean that we have in the particular area that we're looking at. See, like... We've got these complaining that they don't have enough electricity, even though they're hooked up to, like, this. Look at this. Look how all this is filled in. Oh, and we've got all the stuff around Wimbledon over here. Let's, um, let's go back to this. Oh, it's guy. The city's growing. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Okay, well, we need to put some more power in then. So let's put in another power station now can we afford another power station and the answer is going to be no at the moment we need to grow a bit more what do we need for another gula's coal power plant we need another 21 so we need another like 10 grand well that shouldn't take too long with a bit of luck with a bit of luck or i could run some power cables um See now, look. So we got we got them here, right? If if I just run some power cables just across to here, just so that this has got power, right? Suddenly this is happy. Oh no! Oh, the, oh man, the building that I hooked up to just disappeared. Right, let's hook that up to there. Right now they've all got electricity and they're happy. What we want is for some of these buildings to hook up down here. And then we'd be connecting... Uh, we'd be connecting uh, Purley and South Croydon with Kingston, electricity-wise. But we're not connected uh, across the river, are we? Oh, we are, you know. Oh, we are. 
and that connects to ah yeah you know what so if we can just connect a lot like along this road uh, and and connect these up then we're suddenly gonna hook everything up Ooh, I like I I really like letting it kind of happen organically but I think it's gonna need a little bit of help so I'd love this to just organically expand up here, but I just don't think it's going to happen. So you know what? We'll put some uh, we'll put some power cables in, like along there, and uh, let's do it there. And we'll run some around back of here, and then hook up to there. Right. Oh, and all of that is now live. So now what we want is for this to expand a little bit and hook up to this area. Now, I could do it by, um, by cloning a building. Oh, it's all, it's all happening. It's all happening. Now, let's have a look at the, uh, the zoning. Right, so what we could do, we could take a building like this one and just, like, bang a few in just to kind of give us that that connect oh the traffic is starting to pick up oh man um let's see we've got the power going across here okay you know what let's let's do a bit of cloning let's do a bit of cloning so we're going to take you know what what we're going to take we're going to take i think this building like for the like for what the hell you know now, uh, we want to be able to see, yeah, so that's connected that, right, and then this is, is this, yeah, this is all commercial across here, so again, we'll clone, clone this building, and we just need to get it, like, close enough, is that close enough? I think it is, Ye looks like it, now, like, how about, uh, is it only, it's only a two deep what about there would that do it that might be a bit of a stretch but oh yeah we've got a connection that's hooked into that now ah oh, sweet oh we're almost there we've just got a little bit to get and everything will be hooked up okay so what do we need to hook up down there then uh, this is residential so let's take, now this is going down West Hill. Uh, what do we want? What do we want for, like, for a good building for West Hill? I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe something like this would do. Uh, actually, something like this would probably be more representative, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's clone this building. Mind you, this is a, this is a, a four deep, which is kind of probably not what we're going to end up using, but you know what? It, it'll do for what we're trying to... Oh, it's three deep. Yeah, okay. So if, if I put one, one of those there and there and there and then one like there, that should do that bit and uh, oh oh and oh, we've got it we've got it we've got it <laughs> we've got it hooked up right yeah we've got this little bit down here that needs to be hooked up oh and this is this needs a bit of help as well but now that all of this has got electricity oh look we're up to four thousand a week now Oh, 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 the cash is going to start coming in, hopefully fairly quickly, because this is this should just grow and grow. We've got lots and lots of commercial, We've got loads and loads and loads of residential. We are going to have to start putting in uh, services and stuff, but I'm going to kind of wait a little bit and like try and reap a bit of cash, and I don't think it's going to hurt us right now. But look, we've got that 
we've got that little bit going all the way in. And it's kind of creeping along here, and hopefully this will creep along here. When that happens, we can get rid of all these um, power cables, which would be kind of nice. And if we look at the uh, the zoning, right, this can expand all the way. I mean, there's a lot to grow. There is a lot to grow. What's our population? I mean, our population at the moment is only 16,000, which is pretty tiny, right? Wow, we're, this is going to be a big population city when we're done. Jeez, because like everything's low density at the moment. Bear in mind, when once we get it towards the centre, we're going to be starting putting in um, high density. Although, guys, uh, a couple of people were dropping comments and like when I was, I think when they were talking about when I was putting this in and saying, ah, oh, you know, it's all high density or whatever, you would be surprised. It's not as high density as some of the buildings. Like the high density buildings in here, they're all like skyscrapers and stuff. It's like Manhattan style. London's not like that. Um, but it, yeah, it's more dense than, like it's not great big houses like we've got at the moment. It's a, it's a lot more dense than that. But it's not necessarily high. They, they're packed in tight, but they're not necessarily very tall. There are some tall buildings, but... Right. How are we doing? How are we doing? We're up to five and a half grand. Look at the money coming in. We're already, like, already getting close to a hundred thou. Which is pretty staggering. Um, we can start to think about putting in uh, extra train stops. Look at all our trains running. Ah! I, you know, I, I really wish that I could put Vauxhall Station in. Oh, and by the way, look at these little steam vents. On these, uh, on these. Now, these, these two here, they were, they were running earlier, and now they're not, and I don't know why. And look, we've got, we've got shops, like right in front of these things, which is, which is kind of interesting. It's, and, it, and, it, and it's kind of sort of ish, how it is. I mean, we've got collisions. Like, that house is right inside that. That that, that kind of needs to go, I think. But we'll, we'll sort that out. And anything with a rotating ice cream on the top, that's going to go. We're not having rotating... Look at that. Look, there's so many of them as well. But it is what it is. Um, this needs to get hooked up. Oh, that was the road that I was going to put in, wasn't it? That when I, uh, when I like, ran out of cash... We can uh, we can put this in now. Let's, let's just run it up here and then yeah, we can pretty much. I think we'll run it out a little bit and then run it in. There we go. Cool. Just so that just so that hopefully we can get some buildings in here. It would be nice. Alrighty. Oh, the, the the traffic at the Elephant and Castle is starting to build up. Which is excellent, because that's exactly what we want. It's working, though. It's working. I, the only thing I don't like is the, the, the cars like parking right there. I think we should probably take this out. This is actually commercial around here, not residential. Around the Elephant and Castle. So I, I'm I'm thinking we dezone the centre. Uh, I've got to have I've got to take a look at some pictures of this and see like exactly how it is. But let's get rid of that because that's that's not right. And I'm kind of really tempted to just take out a square and change it to um, commercial. That's what I'm going to do. It's what I'm going to do. So let's yeah let's take out a square like that. And we'll put in a square of uh, like that. There we go. That's a bit better. Happy with that. Cool. Right, now what? Now what? It, oh, it's, I mean, it's just a case of like settle back and watch it grow. Look, we're already up to 150. We're making seven grand a day now. 
We're really starting to fly now. We'll be able to put the gherkin in soon. Now, I was talking about opening up stations, wasn't I? We've got a few people around Clapham. Right, should we, um, should we open up Clapham Junction? I need to name this first. Clapham Junction. Have I spelt it right? Yeah, I have. Right. Should we turn it on? Uh, what's it cost us? 480. Right, so now that can pick up passengers and drop passengers off. That's a bit of a commercial area. There do need to be some side roads going across here and stuff, but, you know, again, we'll, wait. we'll get to it. Um, so, hang on. Then we are oh, Wimbledon. Wimbledon, Wimbledon. Now, this is Earlsfield, this one. Did I name it? Yeah, this is Earlsfield. Um, we haven't got electricity down this far yet, so I'm not going to turn that on. And the same, I think, with Wimbledon. Wimbledon hasn't got electricity to it yet. Oh, we, we may have to do something about that. Uh, see, we we only need a little bit. You know what? I'm going to put in some pylons just to hook these up. So from there, just up to here. Boom. And Wimbledon comes to life. Alrighty. Now, this little bit round here, right... As somebody commented, somebody who lives in Wimbledon, this is what he said. He said, you, you do realise this is one way? And I was like, yeah, of course. Because I know Wimbledon, like, fairly well. So, yeah, this this should actually be one. Should I change it to one way? Let's, let's change it to one way. Where's, uh, where's the roads? So, upgrade this to... So, hang on. Uh, we drive on the left, so it should be uh, actually that way. That way and that way. There we go. Uh, cool. All right. So we've got got that whole one-way thing going on, which is good. It'll help a little bit. Right. Cool. So we can now we can turn Wimbledon Station on. Wimbledon. Wimbledon Station is alive. Look at that. Nine sixty a week. That blooming thing costs us. Ouch. But look, we're almost up to ten grand now. Wow, this thing's growing. So now we've got Wimbledon Station going. What's the next one? We didn't put in uh, Rains Park, so the next one's going to be New Malden. Here's New Malden. I might, you know, I might end up putting Blooming Rains Park in at this rate. I love all the train stations. So there's New Malden. New Malden's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Uh... So this is what? This is um, Berrylands? No, it's a Nico train station. What the hell station is that? That's got to be Berrylands. And then this is Surbiton. Yeah, that's Surbiton. Yeah, this is Berrylands. Let's put, let's name Berrylands. Berrylands. Cool. Right, obviously we're not, um, we're not going to turn that one on because we, we haven't zoned out here yet. Because like I said, I need to move this stuff like probably like down here somewhere. Not going to do that just yet. I don't, to be honest guys, I don't think like I'm going to end up building a lot in this particular episode. Because I think it's just a case of um, letting stuff like grow and expand. and It is awesome to watch. So I guess now I could time lapse it, but it kind of like most of the most of the stuff is is built now. It's just a case of it filling in some more. Lots of worker issues, which I'm kind of surprised about. A few fires going on, but that's kind of to be expected. Now Clapham, how busy is Clapham Station now? Oh, look at this. Oh, it! Whoa, it's busy, guys. It is busy. See all the people that came off those trains? They must be coming up here to do some shopping. Or go to work in the shops. That's also possible. We're getting, uh, we're getting more demand for offices. I think, 
uh, we're we're getting to the stage where we need to put some services in up here. Now let's go and check. Like, how are we doing for power? Oh, we need power. Right, let's pause things because we need to put in some extra stuff. Um, now, where are we going to put this stuff in? I'm gonna. I think we'll put it in down here for now. So we'll put in some extra power. Power. Gula's, uh, Gula's power plant? Yeah, I guess so. It'll have to do for now. So let's put an extra Gula in down there. And let's turn it on. How's that going to do? Okay, that gives us a bit, but not much. Let's get a bit of extra capacity. And... Oh, look at this. Oh, now we've got three... Have we got two or three power stations in here? Oh, we've just got the two. I think it might make sense to put the, this one up here. Uh, like, just in case. You know, just in case. So let's pop that in. Uh, there, right? And then I'm thinking we probably need... Yeah, we need more incinerators. So let's pop in an incinerator... And I haven't forgotten about the water. And yes, I can see the water icons. See, just because I don't mention stuff doesn't mean that I haven't seen it. It's just like I'm ignoring it, guys. So let's put another incinerator in there. Uh, we're going to need more, though. We're going to need more. Now, where do we put some more incinerators? That, that's kind of the question. I'm wondering if we put them in... Like we put in a couple over here for now. Or something. Mm. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's put a couple in, like over here. Just, and we'll kind of figure things out. So we've put those. Actually, it provides a little bit of electricity over here, which is not a bad thing. We just need to provide a bit of water. Now, what's our water situation? Uh, turn that off. Right. We need more. Is the answer. So we can put in up here uh, some more sewage treatment. I think we're going to need, like, a, at least, I would think, a couple of these. So, one and two. Right, and then we're going to need some more water pumps. And I'm thinking, like, for now, I think we'll probably put them where I put this last one. But I think we want to start moving them up to the... You know, remember I put these reservoirs up here and extended them so that we could put water pumps up there? I think that would kind of be a good thing to start taking some water from up there. But for now, we'll just pop in. Uh, I want these relatively close together. There and there. And then we need to hook them up electricity wise. Let's. Uh, I don't even need to go all the way to there. There we go. That'll do. Alright, let's bring that to life. Let's see. So. Electricity is looking good. Water, sewage treatment. Are you going to come to life? Why is sewage treatment? Oh, because I didn't. Oh, I haven't hooked any of them up. Hang on. Let's pause it. So let's actually connect them up with some pipes. So, boom and boom. I I'm kind of wondering how these two got hooked up. They must have been... Whoops. They must have been somehow hooked up to pipes oh yeah I yeah they were already there was already a pipeline running behind them so right now so now we should have sewage come on yeah so now we got oh yeah we got lots of sewage yeah awesome right so how are we doing for garbage yeah we got plenty of garbage so we've got power we've got water we've got garbage now obviously we're gonna need like like plenty of education because we're, we're way low way low way way low I got high all don't ask me why I suddenly started speaking Chinese it was spontaneous what the hell um, so elementary we're way low on way low on but we've got tons of university space so we're gonna have to put some schools in uh, oh you know what I want to. I want to look at the traffic on West Hill and see if it's gone completely crazy yet. Where? Where's West Hill? So here's Kingston. So blum blum blum. Here's Westville coming down here. Oh, so there's Tibbetts Corner. Oh, I still need to put the on and off ramps for that. 
Uh, this road here is going to have to get changed. We, we definitely want those on and off ramps onto Tibbetts Corner. So here's West Hill. This is this crazy part that changes from... Now, the other thing is, this, this junction here is actually not right. Take the damn thing out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the damn thing out because that's just not right. That's kind of freed the traffic up a bit. Okay. We, we'll figure that out. I'll look at that offline and we'll, and we'll figure that out. Now, a lot of these, like these kind of, these apartment blocks that are springing up, these kind of like two, three story, that's actually pretty right for this area. They're, 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 I mean, they do get a bit taller. They get, they'll maybe get up to like four, five, six stories, or you know, whatever. But, and there are some, there are some high-rise blocks, but mostly, like in this area, this is, um, this is the outskirts of Wandsworth. Um, oh, you know what? While this is growing up, we're going to put in some districts so that, I, so that you guys know, like where is where. I think that's a good idea, don't you? I hope you do. If you don't, it's kind of tough because that's what I'm going to do. So, this is um, this area here is Putney, and it, and Putney kind of just extends over to the other side. Really, this is Fulham, and in actual fact, I'm not sure exactly where. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to just like, do this. So, this part here, this is going to be Putney. Right, and then this part over here, this is Wandsworth. Now, what the, that's, uh, is that Clapham, is that Clapham Junction that we've put in there? Right, okay, right, so, okay. So Wandsworth is going to be kind of, doesn't go, doesn't go quite that far out here. This is Earlsfield over here. Field. and then this over here this is Wimbledon there we go uh, this can come a little bit more this way I think and yeah that's right I'm, I'm kind of I, I don't know where like the district boundaries kind of lie for Putney I, I suppose it extends this way, like this. But I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of look and see where the where the boundaries are. Now Wimbledon extends uh, like up here, a bit further, because this is uh, this is Wimbledon Common, like here, because this is this is Parkside coming off Tibbetts Corner, isn't it? Yep. So this is Wimbledon Common. Do I switch the map on and bring the map up? Okay, there, yeah, there you go. Let's bring that up. Here we go. There's Wimbledon Common. This is all. This is all Wimbledon Common. This area. So we're going to have to put like like tons of trees there. Let's turn the turn the map off. Um, well, I mean we've got a fair amount of trees, but needs a lot more trees going on in Wimbledon Common. Wimbledon Common is is very wooded. Very wooded indeed. Right, cool. Everything's growing up. We've turned our uh, stations on. So let's go have a look at Vauxhall and we'll look at the, the, the train stats and see what's going on with, uh, with our passengers. So we're up to, oh, we're up to 550 a week now. Although, look, this on the on the subway. Now, bear in mind, this is the only subway that we've got. That hasn't really gone up. This was about 109 or something the last time I looked. It's only up to 118. Like, are we at capacity? I can't believe that. No, there's, there's plenty more capacity on these trains, surely. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's click. So, yeah, that's, that's only got, like, 14 passengers on it. And it's got 12 for the return journey. Then how many is it going to have? And then two. Right? So, yeah, that's not... Uh, 
that's not the issue. It's not capacity issue. I think it's demand because there's a lot of icons up here. Let's get rid of this. What's going on up here? Crime. Okay. Okay. We need to deal with the crime. Uh, oh, you know what we need to do? We need to put in Scotland Yard. Oh, yeah. Now, Scotland Yard, um, for those of you who don't know, Scotland Yard is actually a street where the... Um, where the where, where Scotland Yard is, and that's why it's called Scotland Yard. It's actually in a street called New Scotland Yard, I believe. I think there was an old Scotland Yard. Well, there was a Scotland Yard, and then I think they built a New Scotland Yard. I, I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. And we need to put Sherlock Holmes in. Baker Street. Oh, yeah. Right, so let's put in... Uh, let's put in a nice big police station, I think. Let's put in a police headquarters, I think. Um, to deal with this horrendous crime situation. You know what? I'm going to put it next to the fire station so that I know where it is. Here's the fire station, so we'll put it here. Boom. There we go. Right, now that should solve the crime situation, which would be a very, very good thing. Is everything going to start to go nice and blue? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. We're getting tough on crime. Zero tolerance. Did you... Did, excuse me, sir. Did I see you drop that litter? Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to be spending the next few years in Pokey. Pokey, the big house. We've got loads of names for jail. Oh, yeah. We like our colloquialisms in the UK. I'm just looking at the Elephant and Castle and thinking, why are those buildings there? Because I dezoned them. And then, of course, I zoned it all in again, didn't I? <laughs> uh, I might leave them in for now. The, the, I need to take a closer look at, like, uh, at Elephant Castle, like I said. I, but then I'm going to have to take a, look, a closer look at, like, so many different areas. Because, like, when it comes to, the like, the real detail, it's, it's amazing, like, w w what you imagine. What, like, what you remember a place being like. And then when you actually look at it, you go, oh, okay, yeah, it's a bit different. Cool, right, so let's go have a little bit of a look over here. Let's have a look at our numbers again and see, is it is it going up, is it kind of staying the same? Oh, now oh, we're going up, 130. This is up to, now this was up to 550, it's gone down a little bit, 470. Right, and we do have a bit of a crime situation going on on three of these platforms. So I think, yeah, we're going to have to start thinking about putting in some more services and stuff. We're uh, we're up to, what, about 6,800, 7,000. Oh, look, 385. Wow, the cash has been rolling in. We're going to be able to put the gherkin in soon. Oh, yeah. And we're going to be able to turn on some of this stuff. Get some get some tourists coming in. It'd be interesting to see if the tourists start coming in up here. That's gonna I, I, that's gonna be really interesting actually. Now around here, there's gonna be like a lot of offices and stuff. But again, you know, I'm gonna have to have um, some detailed looks at some pictures and figure out exactly what goes where. But I do know that this road goes up here. Because um, I actually used to work along here. Not for very long. A place called Black Prince Road, which is a road that comes off uh, off this road. Uh, so let's put this road in. And actually, <laughs> uh, I've got a story that I could tell you. Uh, let me bring up the map for a second. Uh, let me turn the map on. It's here. It's, here. it's this. This, um, I've got to remember the name of this park. It's got a really stupid name. It's it's the something um, Pleasure Park or something, which is kind of appropriate for the story that I could tell you about this um, this park, and I could put some uh, <laughs> I could put some pictures up um, of the park, not of anything else. But yeah, basically, um, I was working. Uh, I was working here and um, I was dating a girl at work and one night uh, well, I think we'd been to the pub had a couple of drinks and we were walking back um, now let's see 
it would be yeah yeah it's, it's the park is along here and we were walking through the park to get to my car uh, and stuff happened okay in the park I'm just gonna leave it at that I'm just, uh, yeah like I think I've shared enough I think I've shared I think you can get the idea of what happened in the park oh yeah oh yeah okay I'm gonna move on quickly before I stop not thinking too much about that right and uh, so let's have a look at Clapham Junction Clapham Junction still busy we got all the people all, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Plenty of people running around. This is, like, as this grows up, but man, this is going to get crazy, crazy, crazy busy. It's going to be awesome. Let's go and have a little... I, I want to go and have a little look at Wimbledon, because because Wimbledon should be getting uh, pretty busy. Here's Wimbledon. Because we've put in a fair amount around Wimbledon, so you'd kind of expect this to be getting pretty busy. And... No surprises. Yep, a lot of people here. A lot of people here. Now, kind of, I don't know, like, probably the next ki kind of thing that we need to do is uh, is maybe put in Victoria Station. And, uh, like, I do want you guys to, like, drop comments and say, you know, like, logically what you think should happen next and stuff. That bridge looks absolutely horrible, doesn't it? That needs to be redone in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, definitely. Right. Um, yeah, so where's Vox? Now, Waterloo Station is over here. Victoria Station is over somewhere over here, I think. Pretty sure it's kind of over here. And the trains come through Clapham Junction, and then a bunch of the trains go off to Waterloo. And some go into, uh, across, there's a bridge somewhere. In fact, why don't I bring up the map? Here we go. I see he, he, he. Yeah, I was right. Here's Victoria. Let's bring up the map a little bit more. Here is um, here's London Victoria, and here's the rail bridge that goes across the river. So we'll put that in, uh, and then like it's funny. Like most of the stuff from the south goes into Victoria, and then most of the stuff from the southwest goes into Waterloo so they kind of cross it's weird I, I, I don't know why it's like that but but that's the way it is right let's have a little look at uh, oh look at this we're up to we're up to almost half a million still making six and a half grand a week we're still growing we've got big demand for commercial and for offices so we can bang a load more offices in and stuff which um, yeah, and we need to put in the West End, uh, and we really need probably to start working on that pretty soon. This is going to be like a high density commercial around here, and then we've got um, oh, we need to put Hyde Park in, and we need to put Harrods in. Oh man, there's, uh, there, there's just so much cool stuff; it never ends. And we need to put in Hamley's Toy Store and all the famous places the oldest I think it's the oldest bookshop in the world is here and I can't think of the damn name of it somebody will tell me somebody will tell me pretty sure that this should hook up here I think this bit of road needs kind of redoing though a little bit to give this is the serpentine right if I bring the map up again this is uh, Knightsbridge this is where Harrods is uh, this is very posh area Knightsbridge Knightsbridge, the city of Westminster, all the posh areas, and then if you go up here a bit, this is um, this is Regent's Park. Uh, where's Hyde? This is Hyde's Park here. This is Mayfair. This is one of the most expensive areas in the world to buy property. Um, but then it should be. I mean, you got Buckingham Palace here. You got Hyde Park here, Knightsbridge, uh, St James's Palace. You know, the Houses of Parliament. I mean, you, you've got Regent's Park up here. So you're in the centre of like a whole bunch of parks, a whole bunch of landmarks. It's like an awesome place to live. So it's kind of no wonder that like like a tiny, tiny little flat costs you like a million quid or something. Quid. It's pound to, to you people that don't know. Right. 
Uh, I, you know what? I think probably enough yak. I've kind of been yakking on because I've kind of like wanted to just let it grow and I thought I'd take the opportunity to like talk to you about a bunch of stuff. But yeah, it's getting to the point I think now where we need to start throwing in a bunch of services because we're going to start having dead people to deal with. And... So we need to throw in some granny burners and we definitely need a few fire stations around the place. And we need to start levelling this area up. I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything else we need to do. What's our situation with power? We're still good. Situation with water? Still good. Just about. Uh, garbage? Oof. Only just. We're going to need to start putting some more garbage in. What's that? We're making just six and a half thousand at the moment. We're coming up on 600,000, which would be enough to put the gherkin in. And I know you guys wanted me to put the gherkin in. Shall we, um... Shall I stall until I can put the gherkin in? Or shall I, um, shall I, like, leave it there? You know what? I'm going to leave it there for this, um... For this episode, right? And, and then I'm just going to, like, let this run for a while, I think. Uh, I'll maybe put one or two services in just to kind of take the edge off the like the dead people and stuff because otherwise all of these buildings are gonna like dis keep disappearing because there's too many dead people all right we'll leave it there guys I I've got to say yeah no, we're not we're not gonna leave it there because I'm gonna go up here and I want to take one last look at Waterloo station and look at what the numbers are before we go this will be very quick but I want to look I think you, most I think probably a lot of you guys want to look as well because this is one of the coolest parts. What are we up to? We're over 600 a week, 130 on the drain. Oh, it's getting nice and busy. Oh, and there's a hot dog truck. But look how many people are on the, uh, on the platforms. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Loving it. Oh, look at all the people. Look at all the people waiting for the drain loads oh Oscar Finch he's going off he's working oh he's working at top banking ha <laughs> ha how cool is that we've actually got banking institutions in the city oh that couldn't be more perfect that's a perfect place to end it okay guys yeah this continues to exceed my expectations about how cool and wonderful it is uh, I hope you're gonna carry on following the story because we've got a long way to go